could that be at this time of day? I don't know, but, but, but I'm afraid to answer it. Why? Because that's the way the dream starts, with a knock at the door. Well, in your dream, it was Mrs. Johnson who knocked, wasn't it? Yes. Well, that couldn't be Mrs. Johnson out there, not at this hour. Oh, Barnabas, please don't answer it. We must, Julia. If who's out there hears us now, they'll know that we're here. Mrs. Johnson, what are you doing here? I don't know. You have no idea why you're here? No. You must go back to Collingwood, Mrs. Johnson. No, I must come in. I'm sorry, but Dr. Hoffman and I have a lot of work to do. No, no, let her come in, Barnabas. What? Let her come in. I've got to talk to her. You can't, Julia. It's no use, Barnabas. I'll, I'll never make it until tonight. I forbid you to talk to her. It's dangerous. Barnabas, you want us to succeed tonight, don't you? Well, of course I do. We're not going to succeed unless I free my mind, and the only way I can free it is by telling her my dream. Julia, if you tell her now, there may not be a tonight. What do you mean? Well, she is the person you have to tell it to. Who will she have to tell it to? I don't know. Suppose it's me. She could be the one who will finally bring the curse back to me. Barnabas, we'll, we'll have to take that chance. No. Barnabas, look at my hand. You think I'll be in any shape to work in that laboratory tonight? Julia, I will take that chance. I need to. Now, Mrs. Johnson, I want you to go back to Collingwood now. No, I can't do that. Why not? I don't know, but there's some reason that I'm here, and I don't know what it is. Who sent you here? No one. I was in bed, asleep. I woke, and I got up and got dressed, and I came here for some reason I don't understand. Don't even try to. Now, come, I'll take you back to Collingwood. It won't do any good, Barnabas. I've, I've got to tell her. Julia. I, let's not argue about it, Barnabas. I, you don't know what, what's going on inside me. If you take her away from here, I'll only, I'll only follow you. I, I can't stop now, even, even though I want to. All right, tell her. Uh, Mrs. Johnson, sit, sit down. B before I tell you, I must ask you to do something, if you can. When you go back to Collingwood, I want you to stay awake as long as you can, until tomorrow morning, if possible. Why? Because the first time you go to sleep, you're going to have a very unusual dream. But I never dream. I was just telling Mrs. Collins that just today. Mrs. Collins? Yes, Roger's wife. She asked me if I believed in dreams. And I said, I never have dreams. Well, you're going to have one, Mrs. Johnson. And it's going to be the most terrifying experience of your life. Upstairs and tell your father that you were all right. Why don't you answer me? Have you lost your voice? Has it happened again? Please tell me if. Where are you going? The 
dream. I'm having the dream. Davy, come back. Don't go away from here. No, I'm going to stay here. I won't go with you. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to go through this. Please. sight and sound and faceless terror through endless corridors by trial and error. Ahead, a blazing light does burn and one door leads to the point of return. Thank you. 